before they have famously sung, we all live in a yellow submarine, but for one night only, four people will be able to live in Abbey Road Studios, where that Beatles track was recorded, courtesy of a competition hosted by Airbnb and DJ Mark Ronson. Specifically, I've been in Abbey Road quite a bit for recording, and yeah, most of my life is, is spent in rooms like this, and I don't know why, but I love it. If you think of places in the UK that you wouldn't normally be, otherwise be able to stay, you probably have Buckingham Palace, 10 Downing Street and Abbey Road Studios. On the 15th of October, Studio 3 will have a bed installed for the first time since Yoko Ono and John Lennon slept over in 1969. And even the house rules, an Airbnb fixture, are musically inspired. So they're all inspired from the people who've recorded here. So, you know, for Spinal Tap, being able to ask people to turn up to 11, we're in a recording studio, you can be as noisy as you like. If anyone calls you up on the phone, then I think you can go with an Adele, hello, it's me. The event highlights Airbnb's foray into a fast-growing end of the travel market, that of offering experiences, not just accommodation. So Airbnb is all about providing unique experiences to people. We've done places like the catacombs in Paris, sports stadiums. We've even put a uh, glass, glass bubble above a barrier reef. Experiences like these also detract from the negative experiences the site has had in some cities where Airbnb faces restrictions. It's become so professionalised that Airbnb stay that you often go to a room that's rather empty and boring. There's no one else staying there. It's, it's actually worse than staying in a cheap hotel. So now I think Airbnb are realising, OK, what do we do to go back to that initial instinct, that initial flavour? And these experiences help them do that. To win a night's stay, entrants must write to Airbnb to tell them about their favourite Abbey Road track. For Ronson, well, that's a tough question to answer. My favourite personal moment was uh, we were rehearsing with the BBC Concert Orchestra for the proms and hearing 80 musicians playing in harmony and the way that that sound swims in that room of Studio One with these enormous ceilings. It was like one of the most moving emotional experiences I ever had. Entries close on October the 6th, but for those who don't get a place, as the Beatles would say, let it be.